Hey guys, I just want to uh, go over how I think we should format our lab moving forward because we're going to have many more circuits and I've gotten so much variation in how you guys are all submitting things that it's just insane and it's taking forever. So let's come up with a simple way to do your lab that's easier for you and easier for me. Okay, so what I'm going to do is on our main page, I'm going to pretend like this is my haiku page and I'm going to set up an example for you guys. Okay, so here's how I want you to do it. Um, so I'm going to make a new page. We're going to call Electronics Lab. You guys already have this page. Um, and I'll put demo here. All right. Here's my Electronics Lab demo. And I'll leave this up for you to check. All right. Now that we're in our Electronics Lab demo page, here's how I want you to do it. First of all, no attachments, um, no links. I'm going to go to your lab and I'm going to see your work. I'm not going to have to click open word, go to a Google drive, download software to open your particular video file and all that nonsense. Okay. So in your electronics lab, here's what you're going to do. Add a block on page text. You're going to say circuit number one, for example. Okay. What I recommend that you do is paste in, paste in the questions and the example and the info from the lab itself. Okay. That'll give you, that way you don't have to keep jumping back and forth. Remember, it's to make it easier for you guys. Okay. Um, I want you to um, restate the questions, like I said. So calculate the current through the circuit. Is four pizza pies. Obviously, that's nonsense. Using an online resistance color chart, list the three resistor color codes. All right. So let's restate that one. Color codes for 220 ohm is um, red, red, black, uh, one zero, brown. 1K ohm is um, 1,000, brown, black, two more zeros, red. 2.2K, let's see, uh, 2200, red, red, red. Boom, there's that one. Build the circuit and tick your CAD, doesn't mean, okay, uh, blah, 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 why do you think not? Okay. The circuit does not match because whatever. Okay, answer your questions like this. Okay, answer, all right, restated. Answer, units, put your units, everybody. Because if you don't have units, the answer cannot be wrong. The answer cannot be right, okay? All right, so there you go. RES restated. All right, so that's how you're gonna answer your questions. In text, here, in the block. Now, if you have to go to your Google Doc and copy your answers because you did them already. Just copy and paste them in here. Okay, I don't need you to redo the whole lab. Just redo the formatting. And some of you have the formatting just right. Now, here's what I want you to do for the images. Okay, easiest way to do images in a text block right here. See this little symbol? You can insert an image. So I have emailed myself the photo of my drawing and I put it on my desktop already. I'm gonna choose that file. I'm gonna to go to my desktop where I'm gonna find the image, which is right here, and I'm gonna click open. Um, Haiku will process a little bit. It will probably tell you it's too large because the images from your phones are huge, guys. The cameras in your phones are high, high, high resolution. So. Original size is way too wide, 2,000 pixels. So what I want you to do is click web friendly. That will make it the size match what we need for Haiku. Image alignment, left, right, none, doesn't matter, left. For a caption, I'm always gonna write circuit number one. Can't hurt to have a caption. And then you're gonna click okay. And watch, 
your image will be put in that block. That's the wrong resistor, by the way. Image will be put in that block right underneath your answers. And this is circuit number one. And I hit save. And then you'll see now in my electronics lab, circuit number one, answers of my questions and my image. Okay, you go to add content block on page text and you do circuit number two. Answers, image, okay? And you're gonna put those there. No links, no photos of notebooks, okay? Notice how easy it is to, to see this picture here. Guys, I took a picture of a pencil drawing on my phone. I cropped the image on my phone so I didn't have a big distracting background. And notice there's no pictures, there's no shadows of my arm, etc. Okay, this is how you have to hand in the work. One block per lab, per circuit. Okay, one, one block per circuit. Circuit number one, circuit number two, circuit number three. Okay, the Tinkercad, I will go to Tinkercad to actually see that you built it. That's the format I want to see, okay? And I will leave this Electronics Lab demo on your Haiku page. All right? So I'm not putting grades in for the lab right now because it's just too sporadic and crazy, the ones I've looked at. So I'm asking you to redo this so when I look at the lab, I can get through it without taking four hours. All right? Remember, a schedule, a system, organization is key to your success, especially as you move on in your year and in your years in high school and into college and everything. So let's follow the program. Thank you for watching. This should not take you too long if you've done the lab. Uh, it gives you another chance to just read your answers again and double check. All right. Uh, and that's it. If you have any questions, give me an email or see me during office hours. Thank you.